From version 14.2, Oxygen XML has improved reviewing support by the addition of a framework-independent view which collects all review-specific information including inserted content, deleted content, comments and highlights. This means that the view is available both for built-in and custom XML document frameworks. By default, the review view is hidden. So, to display it, go to Window, Show View menu, or click the Manage Reviews button in the Applications toolbar. The review panel is designed to offer an enhanced way of monitoring all the changes that you may want to make to an XML document, making it easier to view and control highlighted, commented, inserted and deleted content from a single panel. This is particularly useful when you are working with documents which have been edited substantially. The edits are presented in a compact form in the order they appear in the document. Each edit is marked with a type-specific icon for content highlights, comments, insertions and deletions and displays information about the author, date and edited content. One great feature is that you can accept or reject multiple changes at once and use the advanced filtering options to focus on specific edits. The view and the editing area are synchronized, so when you select an edit in the review view, the corresponding text is highlighted. The reverse is also true. For example, when you place the caret inside an area of text marked as inserted, its corresponding edit is selected in the list. The view allows you to manage its items by using in-place or contextual actions. Hovering over an edit activates the in-place actions, the most commonly used for each type of edit. Accept and reject for insertions and deletions and remove for highlights and comments. You can find a complete list of actions specific to a certain edit type in its contextual menu. The upper part of the review pane contains a filtering area which allows you to search for specific edits. There are three predefined filtering actions but the filter text field can also be used to search for a specific word or phrase. We can use the actions available in the view to review the document. You will see that the document contains several highlights that have been added as a reminder to recheck parts of the content which need further clarification. So next we'll review the highlighted content and remove the marker. Now we'll check Mary's comment. Her comment and edit seem ok, so we remove the comment and accept her changes. Moving to the next comments, Mary and Tom have suggested that we should add an intermediate step. To copy content from a comment, invoke the show comment action from the contextual menu. Now we'll remove these two comments and insert a new step. When we have checked that the last highlighted information is correct, we can remove the highlight. Remember that most importantly, all these features are framework independent, so you can use them in any XML document. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.